airframe oral questions. This video contains all the questions and answers for when the DME is getting ready to test you. You do not need to remember all the answers as long as you understand them more in depth and you give a good knowledge and a good understanding of what the question is implying, the DME will accept it. Now, I will begin by reading the question and give you a couple seconds so that you can answer. If it's a long question, then I will give you enough time so that you can answer. Then I will continue. Airframe contains 17 chapters, so I will begin. Chapter 1. Aircraft Structural Assembly and Rigging What is the function of a vortex generator? It is designed to delay or prevent separation of the boundary layer. What are the three axes of an airplane? Longitudinal, lateral, and vertical. What are the three primary flight controls of an aircraft? Aileron, elevator, and rudder. Name several secondary flight controls and describe their general purpose. Secondary flight controls consist of various types to trim tabs such as balance tabs, anti-servo and servo tabs, and spring tabs. Their function is to assist the pilot in moving the controls and to trim the aircraft to fly hands-off. Name several types of auxiliary flight controls and describe their general purpose. Auxiliary flight controls consist of various high lift devices used during low speed flights, such as leading and trailing edge flaps, slats, slots, speed brakes, etc. What is a servo trim tab? It is an auxiliary control positioned by the movement of a cockpit control and it's designed to create aerodynamic forces to assist in moving a control surface. What is a spring tab? It is an auxiliary control designed to aid the movement of a primary control at high speeds when control forces become too high. What is a balance trim tab? It is an auxiliary control designed to create aerodynamic forces to assist in moving a control surface. The tab is positioned by a control rod connected to the fixed surface of the same side as the horn on the tab. What are the four most common types of high lift devices? Leading and trailing edge flaps, slats, and slots. Describe some of the tools used to check control surface travel. A universal propeller protractor and a special control surface protractor. Name three mechanical methods by which flight control systems may be actuated. Cables, push-pull rods, and torque tubes. What is a fair lead? It is a device to prevent a cable from rubbing on the aircraft structure. What are the most likely places for a control cable to wear or break? Where cables pass over pulleys, 
or through fair leads. What information is required before a cable rigging chart can be used? The ambient temperature and the cable size. What is the function of a cable tension regulator? It automatically adjusts the cable tension to compensate for expansion and contraction in the aircraft structure. Describe the function of a rotorcraft collective pitch control. The collective control causes each rotor blade to change its pitch angle by the same amount, thus increasing or decreasing the lift produced by the rotor. Describe the function of a rotor craft cyclic pitch control. The cyclic control tilts the main rotor disc by changing the pitch angle of each rotor blade during its cycle of rotation, which causes the helicopter to move in the direction the rotor tilts. What mechanism is most commonly used to compensate for the torque produced by the main rotor of a helicopter? The tail or anti-torque rotor. How is the amount of thrust produced by the tail rotor controlled? By moving the foot pedals. Why should control surfaces be locked when an aircraft is parked? To prevent damage from the wind. Chapter 2. Sheet Metal Structures What is the major type of damage to aluminum structures that is caused by exposure to the weather? Corrosion. Name several methods for forming sheet metal. Bending or folding, stretching, shrinking, bumping, and crimping. What are the dimensions of a properly formed rivet head? The head should be one and one half times the shank diameter and width and half the shank diameter and height. Describe the markings found on the heads of A, B, D, A, D, and D, D rivets. A rivets are plain. B rivets have a cross, D rivets have a raised dot, A D rivets have a dimple, and D D rivets have a double dash. What happens to the stem of a self-plugging friction lock rivet when the rivet is installed? The stem is pulled until it snaps off and the remaining projecting part is trimmed flush with the head. Name at least three types of self-plugging mechanical lock rivets. Cherry Max, Cherry Lock, Olympic Lock, and Hog Lock rivets. What is the difference between the tools required to pull a Cherry Lock rivet and a Cherry Max rivet? Cherry lock rivets require a tool for each different size and head shape while one pulling tool will set any size Cherry Max rivet. Which of the five stresses is the most common cause of rivet failure? Shear. If a 2024 rivet must be replaced with a 2117 rivet, how do you determine the size to be used? For 532 inch or smaller diameter, use the next large size 2117 rivet, assuming that the edge, distance, and spacing meet the minimum requirements.
Describe the process for determining the total length of a solid rivet for a particular installation. Add the grip length, which is the thickness of the material being jointed, plus one and one half times the rivet diameter. What minimum edge distance and spacing should be used for a single row of protruding head rivets? Not less than two rivet diameters from the edge and not less than three rivet diameters apart. How can a mechanic determine whether the countersink for a flush rivet should be dimpled or drilled? By the thickness of the top sheet. Thin sheets are dimpled while thick sheets may be countersunk. What action is taken to prevent cracks from forming while dimpling magnesium or some hard sheet metals? Hot dimpling equipment is used to preheat and soften the metal before dimpling is formed. What type of damage can occur when using a rivet set that does not properly fit the rivet If the radius of the set is too small, the rivet head may be damaged, whereas a set where an oversized radius may cause damage to the sheet metal. Why is it important to use the proper size and weight bucking bar when performing sheet metal riveting? If a bucking bar is too large or heavy, it may be difficult to control and cause damage to the surrounding structure, whereas a bucking bar that is too light will not properly upset the rivet before work hardening occurs. What procedures should be followed to properly remove a solid shank rivet? Center punch the rivet and then drill just to the base of the rivet head with same size or one size smaller drill. Once drilled, use a pinch punch to tip off the head and drive the remaining shank out of the hole while supporting the surrounding metal. What are the two special calculations that must be made when bending sheet metal? Bend allowance and setback. What factors must be considered in order to determine setback? The thickness of the metal and the bend radius. What is done to a corner where two bends intersect to prevent cracking? Relief holes are drilled in the corners. What are the two reasons for installing a lightning hole in a sheet metal wing rib lightning holes reduce the weight and increase stiffness describe a joggle and explain its function a joggle is an offset formed at an intersection of two or more sheets a metal to allow the multiple sheets to be stacked flat against each other. When repairing an all metal aircraft, how do you determine what metal should be used? Always use metal of the same type and thickness of the original structure. Chapter three, wood composite and transparent plastic structures. What are the three forms of wood commonly used in aircraft structures? Solid, laminate, and plywood. 
What type of wood should be used when splicing or reinforcing plywood webs? The same type of plywood as originally used. Name at least four different types of defects found in wood. Knots, checks, splits, pitch pockets, cross grain, curly grain, decay, dry rot, etc. Can a section of wood containing a hard knot be used? Yes, within specified limits. What type of glue may be used in older wooden aircraft constructions that require careful inspection to detect deterioration? Casing glue. What are the three types of glues used in modern aircraft constructions and repair? Resorcinal glue, phenol formaldehyde glue, and epoxy resin glue. Is compression wood acceptable for structural repairs? No. Why should the various pieces of wood being jointed be kept in the same room for at least 24 hours prior to joining? To allow the moisture content to equalize, thereby minimizing dimensional changes in the wood. Why is it important to consider the open assembly time when gluing wooden structures. If the maximum open assembly time is exceeded, the joint may fail since the glue may begin setting up before the, the joint is assembled. Why is it important to apply the proper clamping pressure to a glue joint? Clamping forces air out of the joint, brings the wood surfaces together evenly, and is in part responsible for the strength of the glue line. Describe some of the methods used to apply pressure to glue joints. Clamps, nail strips, power presses, brads, nails, and small screws. What minimum curing temperature should be observed when joining wood with various adhesives? Seventy degrees Fahrenheit or as specified by the glue manufacturer. When inspecting wood structures, why might it be important to consider stains in discolored areas? Stains and discoloration usually accompany decay or dry rot. Describe the acceptable methods used to repair elongated bolt holes found in a wooden wing spar. Remove the section containing the elongated bolt hole and splice in a new section or repair the entire spar. What type of joint is used to splice a solid or rectangular wood spar? A scarf joint. In what areas are splices to a wood spar prohibited? Under an attachment fitting from the wing root, landing gear, engine mount, lift, or interplane strut. What is the maximum number of splices allowed for any single spar? 2. Describe the characteristics of a scarf joint. The pieces to be jointed are tapered or beveled on a slope of 1 to 10 or 1 to 12. Why must the bevel Cut be accurate on both pieces of wood being repaired with a scarf joint.
The two pieces must match exactly to ensure a tight glue joint. What are the two primary uses for plywood in aircraft structures? Gussets or reinforcing plates and aircraft skin. Provide examples of at least three types of plywood skin repairs. Splay patches, surface patches, plug patches, and scarf patches. What type of patch should be used to repair small holes in thin plywood skin if the skin is less than one tenth inch thick? A splay patch may be used if the hole can be cleared out to a diameter of less than 15 thicknesses of the skin. What should be done to prevent a plywood patch and the pressure plate from sticking together if the glue is extruded from the joint? Place a piece of wax paper or vinyl plastic between the patch and the pressure plate. Why are lightweight steel bushings sometimes used in wooden structures? Bushings prevent the wood from being crushed when bolts are tightened. What is the purpose of large surface area washers when used on wooden structures? Large washers provide additional bearing area for hardware to help preclude damage to the wood when the hardware is tightened. Name several facings and core materials used in bonded honeycomb structures intended for special applications. Stainless steel, titanium, magnesium, plywood, glass, nylon, and cotton cloth. Describe the construction of a bonded honeycomb structure. It is a laminated structure that has a solid facing bonded to either side of a core consisting of open six-sided cell. What must be done with a damaged area in a bonded honeycomb structure prior to beginning repair? The area must be first inspected to determine the damage area prior to completely removing the damaged material. A drill bit used for drilling composites should operate at approximately what speed? Use an air driven tool capable of a free speed of up to 20,000 RPM. What are the most common causes for delamination of a composite structure? Sonic vibrations, expansion of internal moisture, liquid leakage, and a manufacturer error. What type of defect in or damage to a bonded honeycomb structure can be repaired using the potted repair method? Filling a hole. Name some of the factors that cause crazing in transparent plastic windows and windshields. Exposure to ultraviolet light, stress, solvents, and improper handling. How should a hole be drilled in plexiglass to avoid damage to the hole when the drill breaks through the underside? Mm -hmm. 
Back up the plastic with a piece of wood and feed the drill slowly. Chapter 4 Aircraft Welding Name three principal types of welding. Gas welding, electric arc welding, and electric resistance welding. What are some advantages of gas shielded arc welding? The weld is stronger, more ductile, and more corrosion resistance. Which method of welding is less likely to cause buckling or warping of thin metal sheets? Electric arc or TIG welding. What is the purpose of shielding an arc weld with an inert gas? The gas prevents atmospheric oxygen and or nitrogen from contaminating the weld. What is a common method of controlling expansion when welding a joint? Place tack welds along the length of the joint. What is the effect of inadequate penetration of a weld? The weld will be weak. What is the purpose of flux used with brazing and silver soldering? The flux cleans the base metal by removing any oxide film. What type of flame is used when torch brazing and silver soldering? Neutral flame. What must be done to a soldering iron tip to increase the amount of heat transferred from the tip to the work? The tip must be cleaned of all contaminants and properly tinned. What is the preferred method of welding aluminum? Tungsten inert gas TIG welding. What is the preferred method of welding magnesium? Tungsten inert gas, TIG, welding. What precautions must be observed in order to weld titanium? All traces of oxygen and nitrogen must be kept away from the weld area. Describe one type of repair that could be made to a dentic steel tube cluster joint. A formed steel patch plate could be welded over the damaged area. How can a soft flame be obtained without reducing the heat output of the torch? Use a large tip and adjust the gas pressure accordingly. What factors determines the amount of heat delivered by a gas welding torch the size of the torch tip and the gas pressure when an oxyacetylene torch is extinguished which valve is turned off first turn off the acetylene gas valve first when a gas welding project is complete, what safety precautions should be accomplished? All the valves are turned off and the gas pressures are relieved. What should be done to a heat treated aluminum part after welded repairs are complete? The part must be reheat treated. Welding magnesium can create a serious safety hazard. What is the nature of this hazard? Magnesium burns with a very hot flame that is very hard to extinguish. What technique must be used to enable a tight fitting inner sleeve to be inserted into a tubular repair? The inner tube could be chilled with dry ice or in a freezer while the outer tube could be heated lightly with a torch.
Chapter 5 Aircraft Fabric Coverings Aircraft covering fabrics are made of materials from what two sources? Organic materials and synthetic materials. How would you determine the strength requirements for fabric used to recover an aircraft? The fabric must be at least the quality and strength of the fabric used by the original manufacturer. What two types of organic fibers are used for covering aircrafts? Cotton and linen. What is meant by warp, weft, and bias? Warp is a direction along the length of the fabric. Weft is a direction across the fabric at right angles to warp. And bias is a direction at 45 degrees angle to warp and weft. What is the purpose of salvage edge on a roll of fabric? It prevents the fabric from unraveling. What identification markings is found on the salvage edge and in which direction is the warp applied? The FAA PMA stamp is found on the salvage edge and the warp is applied parallel to the line of flight. How are the fabric type and strength requirements determined for fabric covered aircrafts? The original manufacturer determines the fabric type and the strength requirements are a function of the never exceed speed and wing loading. What types of synthetic fibers are used for covering aircrafts? Fiberglass and heat shrinkable polyester fibers. Which of the several types of fabrics is unaffected by moisture and mildew? Fiberglass. What is the function or purpose of reinforcing tape? Reinforcing tape is used between the fabric and the rib stitching to prevent the lacing cord from cutting through the fabric. Where would you use surface tape? Over rib stitching and sewed seams, overlapped edges, around corners, and along leading and trailing edges. How should the edges of drainage, inspection, and ventilation holes be reinforced? With plastic, aluminum, or brass grommets. What are the principal methods used to test the condition of fabrics? Punch testers such as Malu or Siebel testers and laboratory pool testing. Fabric is considered unairworthy when it has deteriorated to what percent of its original strength? Less than 70%. How should a structure that will be covered with dope fabric be prepared following inspection and prior to covering? Treated with a protective coating of paint or varnish as appropriate. What is the principal advantage of the envelope method for covering wings? Almost all the seams are machine sold by the envelope supplier. What is a tie-off knot? A Standard modifying saint knot used on all stitches except the starting stitch. Name three common types of machine sewed seams. Plain overlap, folded fell, and French fell. 
Where are anti-tear strips used? Under wing rib stitching where the never exceed speed is greater than 250 miles an hour. How would you determine the correct spacing for rib stitching if the original spacing was unknown? You consult the chart in AC 43.13-1B. Chapter 6 Aircraft Painting and Finishing why is butyrate dope safer to use than nitrate dope? It is less flammable. What are the two types of dope used for fabric finishes? Cellulose nitrate and cellulose acetate butyrate. What is the appearance of blushing paint finishes? Chalky or cloudy. What finishing defect is a result of paint room temperature that is too warm. Pinholes and blisters. What causes dope to blush? High humidity, moisture in the spray system, or application over a damp surface. What factors cause spray paint sags and runs? Inadequate surface preparation and paint sprayed onto thickly. What components or parts of the airframe must be protected from damage when using paint strippers? Windshields, windows, plastics, composites, synthetic rubber, and fabrics. What is the function of zinc, chromate, and wash primers? Primers serve to inhibit corrosion and provide a good bond between the metal and the top coats. Name several common types of paint used on aircraft. Zinc chromate and wash primer, synthetic enamel, acrylic lacquer, and polyurethane. What is the proper thinner to use with zinc chromate primer? Toluene. What health and safety precautions must be observed when using the toxic solvents and thinner that are part of modern finishing systems? Respiratory and or mask must be worn when spraying finishes. If spray painting does cause a surface to appear dry and rough, what are the most likely causes? Too much air pressure or the spray gun is too far from the surface being painted. What causes orange peel? Spray pressure too high, use of a thinner that dries up too fast, cold temperatures, or a damped draft over the surface. What regulation governs the application of the registration number to aircraft registered in the United States? FAR Part 45. Other than appearance, what is another reason for touching up painted surfaces? Reducing or eliminating of general corrosion problems. What reference should be used to determine if a control surface must be checked and or rebalanced after painting? The manufacturer's service manual. What would be the effect if dope was used over paint or enamel? The dope tends to dissolve these materials. What are the three most commonly used methods of applying paint? Dipping, brushing, and spraying. What is the effect on paint finishes if too much dryer is added to the paint? The paint film will be brittle and tend to crack and peel. 
What paint systems must be used with epoxy top coats? Any paint system in good condition. Chapter 7. Airframe electrical systems. What causes an AC electric motor to run too fast? Excessive applied voltage or short field windings. What tool is used to check a motor or generator armature for shorts and open under load conditions? A growler. When using a growler, what indication will occur when a short exists between an armature segment? When a metal blade is held over the armature and a short exists in a segment, the blade will begin to vibrate and chatter. How is the output voltage of an alternator controlled? By varying the field current that excites the alternator. What instruments are used to monitor electric system loads? Ampmeter and voltmeters. How would you identify a specific wire in a wire bundle? By the identification code marked on the wire, what tool would you use to determine the size of an unknown wire? A wire gauge. What color are the navigation lights on the wingtips? The left wingtip is red. The right wingtip is green. Name several types of electrical devices that would be considered intermittent loads on an electrical system. Landing gear, cowl, and wing flap motors, radio transmitters. Why would it be necessary to analyze an electric system before increasing the load on the system? To determine that the generator capacity, the wire size, and protective device capacity will not be exceeded. What factors should be considered when determining the wire size for a particular application? The system voltage, permissible voltage drop, current to be carried, wire length, and whether the load is continuous or intermittent. What is the relationship between the inside diameter of a conduit and the outside diameter of the wire bundle inside it? The conduit must be 25% larger than the wire bundle. What is the maximum number of terminal lugs that can be placed on a single terminal strip stud? 4. What is the proper length for a bonding jumper? As short as practical, but long enough to allow free movement of the component. Under what conditions must a switch be derated for its nominal rating? When used with inductive circuits, circuits with high and rush current and with DC motors, at what point do electric motors draw the most current? When starting, circuit breakers are designed to open before what condition occurs? Before the wire emits smoke, at what point in a circuit should the protective device be located? As close to the power source as possible. What type of circuit breakers may not be used in aircraft? An automatic reset type. What part of an aircraft is identified by a white navigation light? The tail. What could cause an AC electric motor to run too slow? Lack of lubrication, defective wiring, or low applied voltage. What should be done when making bonding or grounding connections between the dissimilar materials? 
Use a suitable washer so that any corrosion will occur on the washer. Prior to making a continuity check, what must be done to an electric circuit? Power must be turned off. Chapter 8 Hydraulic and Pneumatic Power Systems What materials form the basis of the three types of hydraulic fluids? Vegetable, mineral, and phosphate ester. What colors denote mineral based and phosphate ester based hydraulic fluids? Mineral based fluids are red and phosphate ester based fluids are light purple. What are the results of exposing lacquer, oil based paint, and plastic, plastic resins and vinyl compounds to phosphate ester based hydraulic fluid? Materials will be damaged or softened and the paint will peel. Name several sources used to develop hydraulic pressure. Hand pumps, engine driven pumps, and electrically driven pumps. What would cause the bypass valve in a hydraulic filter to open and allow unfiltered fluid to circulate in the system? A clogged filter element. Describe several methods of pressurizing a hydraulic reservoir. Engine bleed air system pressure acting on a small piston in the reservoir using variable displacement hydraulic pumps. What feature prevents engine damage if an engine driven hydraulic pump seizes or is overloaded. A shear section in the pump drive shaft will break, disconnecting the pump from the engine. Describe the purpose of a pressure relief valve. Pressure relief valves limit the maximum pressure produced by the pump, thereby preventing failure of the system components. Engine driven pumps deliver the output fluid flow in what two forms? Constant value and variable value. Describe the operation of a gear type pump. Two mesh gears driven by a power source rotating in a housing. Inlet fluid is carried around the outside of the gears and delivered to the outlet side as the gears rotate. Describe the purpose of a pressure regulator. The pressure regulator manages the output of the pump to maintain system pressure. They allow the pump to be unloaded so it turns without significant resistance. What is the device that is used in some systems to supplement the pump output during periods of high demand? An accumulator. What are the three different types of accumulators? Piston, diaphragm, and bladder. What safety precautions must be taken prior to disassembling an accumulator? Release all of the air or preload. When a hydraulic unit is replaced, what precautions should be taken to avoid contamination of the system? All lines should be capped or plugged immediately after they are disconnected. What types of components or systems are pneumatically operated in some aircraft? Landing gear, brakes, flaps, and other mechanical actuators. 
Name several sources of pneumatic power. Storage bottles, engine bleed air, engine driven compressor, and vane type pumps. What happens to excessive pressure in a pneumatic system? A relief valve vents it overboard. What is the function of a resistor in a pneumatic system? Control the rate of flow of the airflow. What are the reasons for periodically purging a pneumatic system? To remove moisture and contaminants. Chapter 9 Aircraft Landing Gear Systems what is the purpose of a torque link on an oleo strut? To keep the wheel in alignment and prevent the pistons from coming out of the cylinder. A landing gear shock strut should be inflated with what gases? Nitrogen and dry air. What condition should a mechanic look for during a regular inspection on the exposed piston section of a landing gear? Cleanliness, evidence of damage, and proper extension. What prevents air from leaking out between the two halves of a split wheel assembly? An O-ring. Why are fusible plugs installed on some aircraft wheels? To release the pressure generated by, high, by heat build up before a tire blows. What safety precautions must be taken when removing a wheel from an axle or when disassembling a wheel? Verify that the tires is completely deflated before removing a wheel from an axle or before wheel disassembly. What are the visible signs of an excessive heating on a wheel bearing? The bearing surfaces show discoloration. How are the pilot's nose wheel steering commands transmitted to the steering control unit of a large aircraft? Steering signals may be transmitted mechanically, electrically, and hydraulically. How is the nose wheel steering mechanism usually actuated on small aircrafts? by means of a mechanical linkage connected to the rudder pedals. What is the name of the unit that prevents a nose wheel from vibrating or oscillating? A shimmy damper. What are the most common sources of power used to extend and retract landing gear? Hydraulic pressure and electric motors. At what times should a gear retraction check be performed? During annual, other inspections, and following a hard landing, what mechanisms ensures that a nose wheel is not turned as it retracts into its wheel well? Internal centering cam in the strut or an ex external track. Name several types of brake actuating systems. Independent master cylinders, booster brakes, and power controlled brakes. What is the function of an anti-skid system? Anti-skid systems allow large aircraft to achieve maximum braking efficiency without allowing wheels to skid or lock. What is the purpose of a debooster? To reduce hydraulic system high pressure to a lower value of more significant brake action. Describe two methods of bleeding brakes. A pressure pot can be attached to the bleeder valve and fluid forced back towards the master cylinder and or reservoir or the master cylinder can be used for forcing fluid from the reservoir to the brakes. Before a brake system can be inspected for leakage, what action must be accomplished? Pressure must be applied to the system. What maintenance 
function has the greatest impact on tire service life. Ensuring that the tires are properly inflated. What effects does underinflation have on aircraft tires? Internal heat damage pro possibly leading to premature tire failure and more thread wear on the shoulders than in the center. Chapter 10, Position and Warning Systems. What unit in an anti-skid system generates the anti-skid warning signal? The control unit. How is a pilot alerted that an anti-skid system has automatically returned to manual brake system? By warning light. What is the significance of an anti-skid warning? The system is off or has failed. By what usual means does the stall warning system in a small aircraft alert the pilot of an impending stall? An audible alert and or warning lights. What devices are used to provide warning for a retractable landing gear system? A horn or other oral devices and a red warning light or lights. How can a pilot determine that the landing gear is down and locked? A green light or lights and or other type of visual indicators. Name at least two conditions that would activate a takeoff configuration warning system in a jet transport aircraft. Incorrect leading and trailing edge flat position, stabilizer position, and speed brake not stowed, the manufacturer may establish other conditions. What landing gear position must be indicated by regulations? Down and locked and up and locked. Under what conditions will a landing gear aura warning sound? When the throttle is retarded and the landing gear is not down and locked, how does a takeoff configuration warning differ from a landing gear warning? Takeoff warnings are usually an intermittent horn while the landing gear warnings are steady. What is the function of a MAC airspeed warning system? To alert the pilot that the never exceed airspeed limit has been reached or exceeded. What systems are commonly used to activate the landing gear warning systems? The throttle, which is the thrust lever and the wing flaps. Why do airplanes with bleed air anti-icing of the wing leading edge have an anti-icing overheat light? Indicate an over temperature condition usually as the result of a break in the bleed air ducts. What warning systems may be required when a nickel cadmium battery is installed in an aircraft? A battery temperature monitoring system. At what time would a check of a landing gear warning system normally be made? During a landing gear retraction test, what is the purpose of a annunciator system? To show by means of a warning light that some system parameters require attention by the flight crew. If an aircraft with a retractable landing gear has only one green light to indicate the gear is down and locked, how will the switches be connected in series or parallel? In series, where would you locate the procedures for checking and adjusting the landing gear switches? In the aircraft manufacturer's manual. 
What is the usual means for alerting the crew of a jet transport that the cabin doors are not properly closed? Warning light. Why are transport category aircraft equipped with a master caution and warning system? To alert the crew that a malfunction has occurred and corrective action may be required. Chapter 11 Aircraft Instrument Systems A status check must be performed on a manifold pressure gauge by using what piece of information? Current atmospheric pressure What aircraft instrument can be used to check a manifold pressure gauge for proper indications? Sensitive altimeter Name several of the indication errors that may be found in altimeters. Scale errors, hysteresis, friction, installation. What is the signal source in an electrical resistance type temperature indicating system? A temperature bulb or sensing element. What type of temperature sensing system is normally used to measure a turbine engine exhaust gas temperature? A thermocouple type system. What operating parameter is indicated by a tachometer? Engines RPM, crankshaft or turbine rotor speed. What is the name of the effect that causes a gyro to respond to an applied force at a point 90 degrees further in the direction of rotation? Gyroscopic precession. What are the three sources of power used to drive a gyroscopic turn indicator? Air from a vacuum or pressure source or an electric motor. What are the two items that should be considered during inspection of a magnetic compass? One, the fluid must be clear. Two, the housing must be full with no bubbles. Three, the card must be legible with the lubber line intact for the compass should be properly calibrated. In what way do magnetic fields generate by electrical equipment and steel parts in the aircraft airplane affect a magnetic compass? Stray magnetic fields deflect the compass from correct alignment with the Earth's magnetic field. Describe the basic operation concept of a synchro type remote indicating system. A remote transmitter electrically signals a receiver inside the system. What aircraft instruments are connected to the pedal static system altimeter vertical speed indicator airspeed and mach mach meter in high performing jets why should you avoid cleaning of Instructions from the sensing hole the pedal static system with a tool. Holes are aerodynamically critical. After components in a pedal static system have been replaced, what test or inspections are required? Static system leak tests specified by FAR. 91.411 What quantity is accurately measured by a capacitance type fuel quantity indicating system? The mass of the fuel. Who is authorized to apply the range markings to an instrument dial phase? 
the manufacturer or a certificated instrument repair station. What is the purpose of a slippage mark on an instrument glass? To indicate if the glass has moved, which could cause incorrect range markings on an instrument that has the range markings pointed on the glass, what reference should be consulted to determine the proper range markings for an aircraft instrument's The aircraft maintenance manual, aircraft flight manual, type certificate data sheet, or aircraft specifications. What is the meaning of a yellow arc on an aircraft instrument? A caution or limited flight operations range. What is the reason for swinging a compass and how is it accomplished? To compensate for deviation caused by magnetic fields in the aircraft by adjusting the compensating magnets. Chapter 12 Aircraft Avionic Systems What are the basic components of a radio communication system? A microphone, transmitter, transmitting and receiving antennas, receiver and speaker or headphones. What frequency range is used by most modern voice communication systems? VHF, very high frequency. Band 118.0 to 136.975 megahertz. Um, what does the term ADF stand for? Airborne Directional Finding Finder. What is the function of a VOR equipment? Navigation. Name the component of a typical airborne VOR navigation system. A receiver, antenna, frequency selector, and or visual display indicator. What does DME stand for? Distance measuring equipment. At what interval must a ATC transponder system be certified? Every 24 calendar months, two years. Why are two antennas usually required for an ILS system? The localizer and glide slope signals are transmitted on different frequencies. What information does the glide slope beam provide? Vertical guidance to enable the aircraft to maintain the correct descent angle. What is the power source of an ELT, emergency locator transmitter? Internal battery. Describe one method of monitoring the signal output during an ELT test. Tune to a communications receiver to 121.5 MHz MHz. How would you determine if the batteries in an ELT are due for recharge or replacement? By looking for an expiration date for the recharge or replacement on the battery or and in the aircraft maintenance record, at what time is the test of an installed ELT permitted? During the first five minutes after the hour and for no more than three sweeps. Where on the aircraft would you expect to find a DME antenna? Generally on the bottom of the fuselage in the location that isn't blocked by the wings during turns. Describe the shape and location of a transponder antenna.
either a short blade or a short wire with a ball end located at the bottom of the fuselage. Name the basic component of an autopilot system. Gyro servos, controllers, and an amplifier or computer. What are the sensing elements of an autopilot system? Altitude, directional, and turning gyros, and an altitude sensor. What is the function of a servo? in a autopilot system the servos actuate the flight controls what is the purpose of a bonding jumper for a radio shock mount to the airframe to provide a low impedance ground return describe the procedures used to route coaxial cables for an antenna to a receiver. The cable should be supported every two feet, bends should be ten times the cable diameter, and it should be routed separately from other wires. Chapter 13 Airframe Ice and Rain Control what controls the temperature in a thermal anti-icing system? Hot and cold air are mixed. What are the sources of heat for thermal anti-icing systems? Bleed air from the compressor section of a turbine engine, engine exhaust heat exchangers, and combustion heaters. What prevents overheating of the leading edges of a thermal anti-icing system operated by engine bleed air? Overheated sensor signals the anti-icing valves to close and shut off the hot air. What happens to the hot air used by the thermal anti-icing system after it has been heated to the surface? The air is dumped overboard, exhaust. Why is it necessary to provide overheat protection for an anti-icing system to use turbine engine bleed air? The air is hot enough to cause damage to the aircraft structure. What are the effects of arcing on an electrically heated windshield? Localized overheating and damage to the windshield. Can the operation of an electrically heated pedal tube be checked with a aircraft ant meter? And if so, how? Yes, turn the pedal heater on and observe the deflection of the ant meter needle. Describe several potential problems associated with the electrically heated windshields. Arcing, delamination, scratches, and discoloration. Why do some pneumatic de-icer boot systems have an electrically operated timer? To automatically cycle the boots, provide the proper rest time, and then recycle the boots. What are the two common methods of inflating pneumatic de-icer boots? Bleed air from the turbine engine or the exhaust from engine driven vacuum pump. What procedures is used to hold de-icer boots flat with the air foil surface during flight? Suction is applied to the boots. Why do some de-icer boot systems incorporate an oil separator?
If a wet pump system is used, the oil must be removed before it reaches the boots because oil damages the rubber. What methods are used to attach a de-icer boot to the leading edges of the wing and tail surfaces? Adhesives, fairing strips and screws, or a combination of both? What important steps should be taken prior to making a cold patch repair to a de-icer boot? Consult the manufacturer service manual and follow the repair instructions explicitly. Describe the methods commonly used to remove rain from a windshield. Windshield wipers, a blast of air, or a chemical rain repellent. What power sources are used to operate windshield wipers? Electricity or hydraulic pressure. Name two problems associated with in-flight operations of aircraft windshield wipers. Insufficient blade pressure caused by aerodynamic forces and failure to oscillate fast enough. Describe the operations of a pneumatic rain removal system. A high velocity air blast prevents the rain from reaching the surface of the windshield. What are the effects of spraying rain repellent on a dry windshield? It smears and streaks which reduces visibility and is hard to remove when dry. Where would you find information on the acceptable limits of windshield delamination? in reference materials provided by the manufacturer. Chapter 14, Cabin Atmosphere Control Systems. Is there any special requirements as to the type of oxygen used in aircraft systems? And if so, what is it? Only aviators breathing oxygen should be used. Describe the operating principle of a continuous flow oxygen system. High pressure oxygen flows from the storage cylinder to a pressure regulator where its pressure is reduced and then to the mask outlet whenever the system is turned on. Describe the operating principle of a pressure demand oxygen system. Demand systems allow oxygens to flow from the cylinder to the regulator and then to the mask only when the user inhales. Pressure demand systems provide oxygen to the mask as higher than atmospheric pressure when the used at extreme high altitudes forcing the oxygen into the user's lungs. What should be used to purge an oxygen system of moisture? Oxygen, dry air, or dry nitrogen. What action must be taken when an oxygen system has been opened to the atmosphere? The system must be purged of any moisture. Describe the safety precautions that should be observed when servicing oxygen systems. Avoid all contacts with petroleum-based oil or grease. Don't smoke. Keep everything very clean. Service systems outside if all possible and keep the caps on the bottles to protect the valves. What is a roots blower? Type of engine driven compressor. Name two different types of independent 
cabin air compressors. Positive displacement and centrifugal. What is the source? What is the source of pressurization air in most jet aircraft? Engine bleed air. What device provides the principal means of controlling cabin pressure? Outflow valve. What unit regulates the position of an outflow valve? Cabin pressure controller. Name several methods used on reciprocating engine aircraft for providing heated cabin air. Exhaust shroud heat exchangers, combustion heaters, and electric heaters. What is the function of the ventilating air in a combustion heater? Ventilating air transports the heat from the heater into the cabin and prevents combustion gases from entering the cabin if the combustion chamber develops a crack. What are the sources of ventilating air in a combustion heater? Ram air in flight, a blower on the ground, or possibly a compressor if the airplane is pressurized. Name the basic components of an air cycle cooling system. Compressor and expansion turbine, heat exchangers, and various valves. Describe the basic operating principles that allow an air cycle system to produce cool air. Hot engine bleed air is cooled in the primary heat exchanger, compressed and then cooled again in the secondary heat exchanger. This air is expanded across the turbine where en energy is extracted and the pressure is reduced. This produces a large temperature drop. Describe the basic operating principles of a water separator. Cool, moist air is swirled so that the water droplets are separated by centrifugal force captured by a sock and drained. Name the principal components of a vapor cycle system. Compressor, condenser, expansion valve, and evaporator. In what significant way is a vapor cycle cooling system different from an air cycle system? Vapor cycle systems use a refrigerant liquid, usually Freon. Why is oil added to the refrigerant in a vapor cycle air conditioning system? To lubricate the compressor. Chapter 15, Aircraft Fuel Systems. Why do some aircrafts have fuel jettisoning systems? To allow the crew to reduce the weight of the aircraft down to or below the maximum allowable landing weight. Is there any reason why a fuel jettisoning system might be required on small aircraft? Yes, if the maximum takeoff weight exceeds the maximum allowable landing weight, a jettisoning system would be required. What are some other names for a single point fueling system? Underwing or pressure fueling systems. Why do multi-engine airplanes have a fuel cross-feed system? To allow any engine to draw fuel from any tank, the fuel selector valve for a multi-engine aircraft must have at least three positions. What are they? 
on, off, and crossfeed. Why do some fuel tanks have internal baffles? To resist fuel surging or sloshing caused by changes in the altitude of the aircraft. What are the two types of fuel cells? Integral or wet wing fuel cells or bladder type fuel cells. What does the term wet wing mean? It means that the sealed portion of the aircraft wing structure forms the fuel tanks. How is the weight of the fuel supported when bladder type fuel cells are used? The bladder is supported by the aircraft structure which contains it. Why do turbine engine aircrafts have fuel temperature indicating systems? To allow the crew to determine if the fuel is cold enough to produce a danger of the formation of ice crystals. Name four types of fuel quantity gauging systems currently in use. Sight gauges, mechanical, electrical, and electronic gauges. Why are electronic capacitance type fuel quantity indicating systems more accurate than other types? They measure the mass of the fuel instead of the volume. What are the drip gauges or sight gauges? Underwing bayonet type fuel gauges. What is the purpose of an in trans light? associated with an electrically operated fuel tank shutoff valve. To provide an indication that the valve is in motion between one position and another. For what reasons is a fuel jettison system usually divided into two separate independent systems, one for each wing? To help maintain lateral stability by jettisoning fuel from one heavy wing if necessary. What procedures should be followed regarding gaskets and seals when replacing fuel system components. All old gaskets and seals should be replaced with new ones. Is it possible for a fuel system to develop a leak that has no visible evidence such as stain or spot? And if so, how? and internal components such as a valve could develop a leak. How is a fuel tank checked for leaks following a patch or a welded repair? The tank is slightly pressurized with air and the repaired area is leak checked with a soap and a water solution. Name some advantages of a single point fueling system. It reduces fueling time, reduces uh, chances for contamination and fire, and eliminates damage to the aircraft skin. Why should you wait for a period of time after fueling in aircraft before checking the fuel sumps. To allow the time for water and contaminants to settle to the drain point. Chapter 16 Fire Protection Systems Briefly describe the components of a thermal switch fire detection system.
temperature sensitive switches that complete a circuit at a specific temperature and trigger a warning. Are thermal switches wired in series or in parallel with each other? Parallel. How are the detector units in a double loop fin wall system wired? In parallel between two complete loops of wiring. In what way is a thermocouple fire warning system different from a thermal switch system? Thermocouple systems are sensitive to the rate of temperature rise, whereas thermal switches systems respond to a specific temperature value. Briefly describe the component of a Kittle continuous loop fire detection system. A Kittle system has a Inconel loop whose resistance changes with temperature. Briefly describe the component and operation of a Lindbergh fire detection system. A stainless steel tube contains an inert gas and a discrete material that absorbs some of the gas. When the tube heats up, some gas is released, raising the pressure in the tube, which activates a pressure switch. Describe the process or mechanism by which a photoelectric smoke detector generates a warning of a possible fire. Smoke particles refract light in the detector unit causing the photoelectric cell to conduct electricity and trigger the alarm. How can the operation of a photoelectric smoke detector be tested? By actuating a test switch. Name two types of smoke detecting systems used in aircraft. Light refraction uh, photoelectric types and ionization types. What are the usual locations where a carbon monoxide detector would be installed? In an aircraft cockpit or cabin, how does a carbon monoxide detector indicate the presence of this deadly gas? The tan spot on the detector turns gray or black. What are the possible effects of kinks and sharp bends in the sensing element of a fire warning system? False fire warnings caused by short circuit. How is a Freon container checked for proper pressure? A chart must be checked used to determine the maximum and minimum gauge pressure reading based on the ambient temperature. Name the two basic types of fire extinguishing systems. The conventional system and high rate discharge system. Name the extinguishing agent most commonly used by conventional fire extinguishing systems. Carbon dioxide, CO2. Name the extinguishing agent most commonly used in high rate discharge fire extinguishing systems. Halon, halogenated hydrocarbon type agents, also known as Freon. How are Freon bottles protected from excessively high temperatures and how can you tell that this has occurred? A thermal fuse or blowout disc will release the agent if the bottle temperature exceeds a certain limit. This blows out a red indicator disc. 
What condition is indicated if the yellow disc is missing in a fire extinguishing system? The system has been discharged normally. Describe the mechanism by which a Freon bottle is discharged. An electrical signal fires an explosive squid which ruptures a flangible disc. How is the service life of a discharged cartridge calculated? From the date stamped on the cartridge by the manufacturer. Chapter 17 Aircraft Airworthiness Inspections where do you find the regulations that specifies the operating conditions that make 100 hour inspection mandatory? FAR Part 91 A certificated airframe and power plant mechanic may sign off and approve the return to service following what type of inspection? A 100 hour inspection. Under what conditions may a mechanic perform an annual inspection and return the aircraft to service? The mechanic must hold an inspection authorization. What is the time frame within which an annual inspection must be performed if such an inspection is required? Within the preceding 12 calendar months, under what conditions may any checklist be used as a guide for a 100 hour inspection? The checklist must meet the minimum standards specified in FAR Part 43, Appendix D. May an aircraft that is overdue for an annual inspection be flown to a place where the inspection can be performed? Yes, provided a ferry special flight permit is obtained. In order for an individual person to conduct a 100 hour inspection and approve the return to service, that person must have what type of certificates? A mechanic certificate with both the airframe and power plant ratings. An aircraft is required by FAR 91.409 to have a 100 hour inspection. Is it legal to fly that aircraft or airplane beyond the inspection requirement and if so, for how long? Yes, the aircraft may be operated for up to 10 hours if required to reach a place where the inspection can be accomplished. An airplane is flown four hours over the 100 hour inspection limit to reach your maintenance facility. How would you account for those four hours? The four hours are included in the next 100 hours time and service period. What types of operation requires that aircraft operating under Part 91 must undergo 100 hour inspections? Aircrafts operated for compensation or hired or used for flight instructions when provided by the flight instructor. An aircraft under a progressive inspection program is operated for compensation or higher. Does it need a 100 hour inspection? No, progressive inspections replace a 100 hour inspection. Who is authorized to supervise a progressive inspection? Certificated AMP mechanics who hold an inspection authorization, certificated repair stations, or the aircraft manufacturer. When a progressive inspection program is discontinued, at what time is the next 100 hour inspection due? 100 hours after the last complete inspection of the progressive program. An owner desires to use a progressive inspection program. To whom does the owner apply for authorization?
to the FAA Flight Standard District Office having jurisdiction over the area where the owner is located. Is an engine run-up required as part of a 100-hour inspection on a turbine-powered aircraft? Yes. Where would you locate the required items that must be recorded in the aircraft maintenance record following completion of a 100-hour inspection? FAR Part 43. Where might you locate a sample of the recommended statements for recording the approval for return to service of an aircraft following completion of an annual or 100-hour inspection? FAR Part 43. Where would you look to find approved information for work on an aircraft electrical system? In the Manufacturer Maintenance Manual or other instructions for continued airworthiness. What are the limitations placed on mechanics where regards to propellers? Mechanics may not perform major repairs to or alterations of propellers. After equipment is installed in accordance with a STC, who must approve the return to service? An AMP mechanic who holds an inspection authorization.